It's time for another episode of Barry D's 80s Music Video of the Day. I'm your host, Barry D, bringing you one 80s music video each and every day. And if you're a longtime viewer, you're going to notice I have no microphone anymore. That's because I'm in the control room. They thought I was going to poke my eye out. So they went to a boom microphone. I ho hope you like the change because I, I don't even know where they put it anymore. It's, it's gone. I think they threw it in the garbage on me. Anyway, listen... I do one music video each and every day, as you well know. Some are great, some are lousy. I play them all. I'm an equal opportunity offender, so check them all out. Join my Facebook page, that way you'll get updates on every new one that I come out with. And if you subscribe to my video channel, you can check out all my old episodes, and there's bunches of them there. Remember, this is a commentary show, so I'm going to have a video at the end, but before that... You got to hear me ramble on about the band or the artist, the video and the song. So let's get to it. Let's go to 1988 through 1990. There's a song by the Swedish rock duo Roxette, which a lot of people think was a 90s band. No, late 80s. Anyway, this was originally released in Sweden in September of 88 as the second single from the duo's 1988 studio album called Look Sharp. Had an exclamation, exclamation point on the end of it, so it was really, Look Sharp! The song was one of the most successful singles of 1989. This was the first song to reach number one in the U.S. without a commercially released 7-inch single. Later on, they did do one, but in the beginning, there wasn't one. While the song originally peaked at number 62 in the U.K. in October of 1989, following the success of the song... Um, it must have been love. The track was reissued as a double-A side with Dangerous in August of 1990. Then it shot up to number six on the UK singles chart. The lyrics were inspired by a close friend of Pear Giselle. Well, Pear Giselle is the other half of rock set along with uh, Marie Fredrickson. And almost every Swede's named Pear, so there you go. Hey, there's a little bit of uh, uh, cultural uh, uh, lumping in, right? Just... Everybody's named Pear, just like everybody in America is named John. Anyway, uh, anyway, Pear Giselle's friend who was stuck in an emotional turmoil, he was stuck between an old relationship and a new love. He said that a year later, he called a friend up in the middle of the night after a few too many glasses of champagne saying, hey, you're number one in the United States, so he made his money off the buddy, but did he ever cut him a check? Don't think so. Anyway, there are a lot of different versions of this song. You'll hear them all the time. You're like, what is There's acoustic. There's all these different ones you'll hear on the radio. Seven different ones were released. There was the original album version, the sweetest single of it, a slightly edited version to include, uh, to be included on the subsequent greatest hits compilations, the U.S. remix, the one used in the music video, the AC mix, which is similar to the U.S. remix, but with the guitar and the bridge, well, that's replaced by a MIDI saxophone. Shorter edits of the aforementioned two versions, which cut some of the parts from the last refrain, and the seven inch single version, which came out, and that fades out shortly after the last refrain, omitting most of the outro. Now, as far as critics goes, they loved it, they hated it, blah, blah, blah. Let's move on, shall we? A guy named Doug Friel directed the song's music video, which was filmed during a live performance at the Borgholm Castle Ruin on the Swedish Baltic Sea Island of Oland. Friel and the video's production crew thought the ruins were built specifically for the video. Giselle said, It took some time to convince them the place was actually for real. Yep, we put all these stones here, 50 feet up, just for you guys. They're actually made of styrofoam. Uh-huh. Anyway, the song has reappeared on the charts in 2019. And I assume it's because the lead singer, uh, Maria Fredrickson, she uh, died from a brain tumor that year. So I'm figuring it probably got a lot of downloads from that. The song has been performed at all of Roxette's concert tours. And that's all I got, so let's get to it. Canada and the U.S. Billboard Hot 100, number one. Austria, U.S. Adult Contemporary, number two. Belgium, Netherlands, I thought they were the same country. I know they're not, don't send hay mail. And Sweden. Sweden? These guys are sw Swedish. Number three, nah, sellouts. Canada, Adult Contemporary, and Ireland, number five. 
UK singles number six, West Germany when there was a West Germany number seven, Italy and Switzerland number eight, Australia number 10, New Zealand number 11, Finland number 12, Spain number 17, and then in 2019 after her death, Hungary 14, Australian digital tracks 31, Scotland 39, UK singles downloads 59, Switzerland 90, and France 114. They just wanted in on the action. Anyway, how do you see, listen to your heart, rock set? Gonna pop up right over here in the castle, okay? If for some reason they don't storm the castle right there, do not worry about it. Right down here where it says direct link to the music video, way down, direct link to the music. Right, click on that link, it'll take you right to it. But let's hear it from Rock Sets Heart right now. Check them out, and I'll see you tomorrow.